的观众朋友们，大家好，我是 Diana， 很高兴今天要请到我们的 CBA Superstar， 我是马布里。See， <laughs> so how's it going? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good, good. But actually, a brand new Q Rose just for you. Oh, how's this you feeling? It's cool. I like this car. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. yeah leg room is cool. Enough. I'm straight. Yeah. yeah. What kind of um, music do you listen to? I like uh, Weekend right now. The Weekend. Yeah. We have a song queued up for you. You ready? Okay. There's some dope speakers too. You ready for this? Does it take you back home? I mean, I am home. So I love that. I am home. When I go back to America, I'm home too. Yes. When you're going from the hotel mm -hmm. or from home to the game, what is your process? I'm kind of a systematic, systematical person when it comes to the game. As far as like, I go to sleep at you know a certain time, and I wake up at a certain time, and then I do a massage before my game. I do a deep tissue massage. Mm. It's all elbow basically to keep everything nice and loose. Make sure I have a nice range of motion. Um, I take a bath, a hot bath, and then I leave um, off to the game. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple, simple routine. Um, but you know, sometimes my mood it changes depending upon who we're playing against. If we're playing against a, you know, a team that's not that strong. I mean, I'm pretty much in a. A good flow you know, state already. Yeah, I'm in a nice flow state, you know. But when I'm playing against a a tough team, you know, I have to think about all of the things that they're really good at and what they do well to actually make sure that you know we we could play the best that we could play. And driving there, you kind of relax, or do you focus on the technical side of it when on your drive? I like to consider when I get get on the court that I'm already in the zone in the zone mindset. Before I get on the court, you know, so it starts pretty much in the pregame. Yeah. Before, you know, you at the beginning up. in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Before the game even starts, you already pretty much know what it is that you're going to be doing. You're not focusing on the self. You're basically focused on what they're doing, so you can be the best you. You kind of focus out instead of focusing. Yeah. To make sure you win the game. Yeah, because I mean, right now they're the best team in the CBA. So, you know, when you're playing against the best, the best, you know, you have to strategize on on a defensive strategy opposed of the offensive strategy. Yes, you know, I, I think, like that. I think yeah. the defensive strategy, if it's that, if that's intact, um, it allows you to have to have good offense if you're playing good defense. It doesn't matter if guys score a lot of points here. There's only one winner at the end of the year, and that's the team that wins the championship. So mm -hmm. I think when you're able to establish that, that's when people start to recognize you and see you as, you know, someone who has done something here. Uh, Jimmy from Shanghai, he's having a really good year mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here. Um, if they could consistently play the way how they they've been playing and they if they could win championships here i think he has a shot at being one of the top top players here but you know you also have some other young guys that are playing really well this year yeah you know that are good it all comes down to actually winning executing right showing Execute, up yeah you gotta win up. You gotta win. And I really have to give you props because you've taken um, your team three times. Yeah, we won three championships, three challenging championships. Um, and winning back to back, that was probably the hardest. Oh, yeah. You know, so, you know, for us, we we had a lot of things going in our favor. You know, we guys, we stayed injury free. We were able to keep guys healthy, which is one of the biggest things. Something I really admire about you is um, your Starberry, li Starberry line. My brand was created to try to create access for all, for, for people to basically have something at an affordable price. Me growing up from where I grew up, 
in America, you know, in, in the proverb areas, mm -hmm. we weren't fortunate to be able to buy $150 sneakers. So, you know, for myself, it was more of thinking about the people who come from the same place that I come from and creating shoes and selling them for $15 and $50. Just gives people an opportunity to buy those same products that people are paying hundreds for. hundreds of dollars for. Do you plan on expanding the brand at all or anything like that? Yeah, we're constantly working on expanding it um, and trying to get more and more people to become aware of what it is that we're doing. And What's your favorite thing to do in Shanghai? The city lights are beautiful, by yeah, the way. Yeah, city lights are beautiful. You have a, a variety of different cultures blended and mixed inside of one city. And what's your favorite type of food here? I like Chinese food. I mean, I can't specifically give you names, but <laughs> I mean, I eat all of the Chinese food. <laughs> and you have a lot of other siblings, right? Yeah, About six. six of us. So three of my brothers have been here. They've been to some of the restaurants in Beijing, Mr. Hua restaurant. Mr. Hua? Yeah. It's oh, the I've name of Yeah. Um, they came, my brother came for my museum opening. So It's a cool museum. And for all like the young basketball players, you know, if you could give them one piece of advice, what would you say to them? If you love it, go for it. You'll figure it out if you really love it. When did you realize you really loved it? I played basketball since I was two years old, so <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much been. It well, wasn't. Yeah, I didn't even have a choice. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't even have a choice. You know, all my brothers played basketball. They must be so proud of you. Yeah, they are. What is a big difference between playing ball in China and then playing ball in America? <laughs> or your experience? The CBA is harder than playing in the NBA for me. How come? Because in the NBA, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. It's man-to-man. -man. It's a lot harder to score, and it's a lot harder to get to the basket. The players are, are growing. They're getting better. I think it's basically the way how guys train is changing. You know, I've seen a big improvement from the time that I've um, come here at the, the, the at the beginning of when I came here up until now. You know, guys are a lot better than what they were oh, just when five I first years, came. Yeah. Six, my sixth season in Beijing, I played oh, yeah. in yeah, Fortune. Yeah. So I've been here seven and a half years. Wow, it's like you're about to graduate college. Basically. <laughs> You're really an inspiration to a lot of people out there. How do you feel about that? I'm blessed. I can't really complain. I'm just thankful for it. I'm happy about the opportunity that I was able to receive. And I think people mix, you know, they, they confuse the person with the personality. And that's a lot of America, right? I mean, that's yeah. people, period. Yeah. It's not just America. You know, some people, they go by what other people say before they even Experience, experience. You. I usually say, did you hear it or did you see it? Oh, I like that. Normally, people they say no, no. So, the NBA was the, that I served my time there when I left. That was, you know, that was the end of it. When I came to China, I made the decision to just play basketball here and retire here. You've gone to probably a lot of places in China. What's your kind of favorite destination so far? Live in Beijing. Mm -hmm. um, I think Shanghai is okay. Shang Shanghai is cool. I like Hangzhou. So I like Guangzhou. I like the weather. But I like Chengdu as well. I was shocked, you know, when I first went to Chengdu and saw how lively and how um, nice it was. Have you tried Tai Chi yet? Yeah, I've tried it before. You dig it? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I do meditate. I go into my space. Really simple, really easy. You know, I think the older that I've gotten, I've been able to calm myself, calm my mind, you know, with being able to accept a lot of different things. Are your kids playing basketball? Or are you letting them do the thing? Or? Yeah, my son plays basketball. 
<laughs> I see a smile. He does. He How's plays. he training? I want him to train harder, but he trains hard. <laughs> the thing that um, I love about him is that he, he, you know, he does it on his own. Um, your other two daughters. My, my oldest daughter, she's getting ready to graduate from ASU. Stephanie is the Stephanie. oldest, and Xaviera. Oh. Actually, she's super duper sporty. Shooting a movie this summer, and she was like, oh my god, daddy. Went from out of season. Then, to movie? To start shooting a movie, and then right after the movie, I started training. What is your movie about? It's basically about me coming to China from the NBA helping Beijing win the first championship. I think a lot of people would really enjoy it. Um, it's really, it has a lot of arcs in it, you know, before I came here and all of the challenges that I had to face. A lot of it comes from my book. A lot of it has um, backstories that a lot of people know, but more importantly, um, the stuff that people don't know and it'll be a worldwide release. Yeah. Yay, so all your friend, fans can go check that out. Yeah, a lot of people get an opportunity to see it. You know, for myself, it's always been about, it's always been about giving. I mean, you can't have it all for yourself. No. Nope. You have a really <laughs> serious day tomorrow, so <laughs> for maybe three minutes, you can just rock out. <laughs> it's all serious. <laughs> It's a challenge between you and I. So whoever oh laughs first loses. Okay. And we have to figure out what we'll have to do if you lose. Okay. I guess you get to make the silliest face to our live feed. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a face. <laughs> Oh my. You cannot not laugh. Oh, we in a contest. I seen a lot of them, that's why. Are you for real? <laughs> you cheater! You cheated. Uh, you did? I watch all of the little funny stuff. My kids, they send all of that stuff to me. Oh, that's how you stay connected, right? Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you. spending time with us in this beautiful car and on our drive home series. Thanks for having me. I need to search for a better way. I'm Stephon Marbury. Just get away. Elevate, meditate. Search for a better way. Try to find a better day.